Hi, welcome to Sign Request. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the software and how to get started. First, head on over to the plans page to start a 14-day free trial. Select the plan that suits you best and click try for free. Now you're ready to get started. Click your name up in the top right corner and you'll get a drop-down list of all of your options. Here's where you can see your account overview, all of your documents, your templates that you've saved, your billing, signatures, teams, users, and more. The first thing you'll want to do is create a team. To create a team, head to the Teams tab. Once you've created a team, you can add a company logo and invite other team members to your team. These members will receive an email to confirm the invitation. To learn more about Teams, head on over to our Teams Explained article in our Help Center. One last thing about Teams, you have the option of setting a custom landing page, which is where your signers will be redirected to after they sign, as well as a declined landing page, as well as a default email subject and message body, which will appear in the emails sent from documents in this team account. Additionally, signers by default have the option of signing three different ways by drawing, typing, or uploading a signature. But with the team settings, you can disable certain signature types. Every team account has its own independent My Documents folder. Here you can see all the documents sent from users in this team. You can see all their statuses like signed, sent, and declined. And if you click on one of these, you're able to download the document and the signing log. Additionally, every team account has its own independent templates folder. To create a template, simply click Create Template. Sign request users can either send a sign request directly from the templates page by clicking Sign Request, or they can choose a template from the home page. Just add a contact and click Send. Now all parties in the document will receive an email to sign. The sign request email will look something like this. As you can see, there's a company logo, your signers will click Review Document. Now the document will be presented and a little arrow will guide the signers where they need to sign. The date has already been pre-filled because we selected that option when creating our template. To add inputs, just click on each box. And again, signers have three options for signing, type, draw, or upload. When they're all done signing, click Finalize. Once finalized, all parties will receive a second email saying that the document has been signed. This email contains two attachments, one being the final signed copy itself, and the other is the signing log. The signing log is the legal proof or the audit trail showing the authenticity of the signatures. The signing log contains information like the document ID number, the name of the document, a security hash code, whereas if one pixel of this document were to be altered, the hash code could prove that it's not the original signed document anymore, timestamps, email addresses, IP addresses, signatures, verifications, and more. To learn more about the signing log, visit the signing log article in our Help Center. Furthermore, on the account page, you can set custom notification settings to receive emails whenever these criteria have been met. And we also have direct integrations with Google Drive, Dropbox, Slack, and Zapier, as well as Salesforce and Microsoft Flows. If you ever need to change the number of licenses or upgrade the type of plan that you're on, head over to the billing page and make your adjustments here. Make sure to update your invoice information to receive the correct information on your invoices. And to save all of your information, click subscribe. Well, this has been a brief overview of the sign request software. If you have any additional questions, take a look at our other help videos or submit a ticket to support at signrequest.com. Have a great day.